We back, man. Part six. Baton Rouge Prison Stories, Marlon Pee Wee Joseph, Nitty TV. You know how we do, man. Let's go. Let's get straight man, into it. Man, I was trying to tell you about this, brother. If I could, it's like me seeing that play in my head, listening to my daddy say, if you ever go to one of them places, what's going to happen? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize that it would actually come true. You know, it's many nights I'm thinking. I'm sitting in there thinking about what my daddy and my mama said to me, and I'm sitting there as I'm thinking about it. I got dudes in there right here humiliating me, trying to beat me up and fight me. I can't much have no peace. <laughs> right. Man, the tears, shit, I, they kept coming, and the more they kept coming, the more they tried to wipe them bitches away with an ass whooping. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I like, I'm like, you too fuck is you crying for? You the one, I'm the one getting the ass whooped. You know? It, 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 it's so real because I felt like I, I, I really was a target. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can feel hey, that bro. though, bro. I can understand, you know, you sitting in there going through that shit and you just thinking about your parents, that your mom and your daddy told you, you know what I'm saying? Molly, you don't ever want for it. Every day, just imagine seven years out there. You got 365 days a year. And yeah, I tell you that. You know what I'm saying? So I might have miscalculated. I might, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you how to miscalculate on the ass whooping. That's what I'm telling uh, you. <laughs> I'm really telling you. But it, it got to come. I, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna tell you this, but but what I'm telling you is based on two stir. Man, you talk about just sitting there trying to brush your teeth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Before it's time to go to child. Motherfucker slapping your toothbrush out of your hands and get in front of you. Damn. How the f Why? We're going in the same place. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I mean, I didn't say I like getting my shit taken away from me. I didn't say that. I didn't like making stores. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that shit. Because I wasn't just doing it for me. I was doing it for my I didn't know. Right. But who was there to defend me at the end of the day? None of these dudes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Damn, I bro. thought it was help thou brother. Yeah. Help, not in that bitch there. Nobody ain't help nobody nah, helping nothing. Nah, it, I was by myself. It never to the point where I got where I, I actually actually got cool, cool, cool with him. Right. You know? It never was to that point. It's always to the point. I never realized that it was a reason why they was getting close or why they wanted to talk or why they, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wasn't used to that. I thought when a man, when he spoke to you, we was cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We playing checkers and dominoes and shit like that. I thought I was cool, but the motherfucker, if I win the game, I lose the fight with the Damn. Real shit. Some dudes can't take L's in there. I took a mini on. I took a minute out. 